Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Just have a quick one for you, but I think one that you'll find quite interesting in, in terms of how confusing it might be to work this out because of all of the context considerations and filtering that could happen in your, in your report, but uh, how how simple a solution can actually be. Now, this, this came up in the Enterprise DNA support forum where a member wanted to work out and they wanted it to be dynamic as well so they wanted to work out well how many what's the forecast we have in the particular month that we are in and we need it to be dynamic and we need to say okay well how many forecasts do we have for the rest of the month from today through to the end of the month and so as you move through one day to the next this amount is going to change and they wanted it to be in a card so that you can actually see okay how, how much how many forecasts we have left for the rest of this month and it, it, this is really relevant say for a CRM system and you're trying to manage some monthly targets or something like that this is a way that you can uh, look to see what uh, what you need to achieve from a sales perspective or a team perspective okay now this was actually answered by Brian who's a great contributor within the in the form so I'm just leveraging off his solution here and he uses um, variables really effectively and so what I wanted to do was just highlight the, the solution in a little bit more detail and show you why it's so good. So if you have, you know, usually when you're trying to work these things out, you, you can get quite confused and, uh, with, with, with the context of your calculation, right? And so what you need to do in this particular instance, because this needs to be always in the particular month that we are in, Right, so it needs to be totally dynamic in the month that we are in at that point in time, at any point in time. You need to try and get rid of the context that could be coming from any dates, right? And you want to try and apply context within the formula. Okay, so let's have a look at it. So what the solution is here is that we're basically basically going to build a date range we're going to create a date range and create context within the formula itself and we're going to build it up by using variables okay and so the way we can do it, use, keep it dynamic is because we can utilize the today the today function and so that's always going to return it to today and then we can always work out what the end of month date is by again using today okay and so we've now got the beginning and end date of this date range that we want okay and so i've got uh, start date and end date. And then by using the time intelligence function dates between, what this enables us to do is open up this dynamic window to whatever we like. And we're going to use the uh, the previous variables that we have created within this variable. So it's quite cool if you think about it. We're referencing variables within variables and this is just why variables can be so effective because you can layer them. Okay, so in this with this particular uh, function here this table function dates between this date time intelligence functions we now have a date range of between today current date and in the month based on today okay and so hopefully you can start to see quite quickly how this how this would adjust from a day-to-day -day perspective then we jump down into uh, after return and this is where we need to use calculate so remember calculate can change the context of a calculation so for instance right total sales forecast is all of these particular results down here so this is getting filtered currently by every single day down here regardless of you know this is this is multiple months we've got multiple months worth of data here okay but we only want to look at we want to we want to accumulate up or basically just count one number but the 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 amount of sales between this particular day or within this this these dates this date window okay and by using calculate we can do that okay and so all we've done is we've input or uh, what the solution is is we've input the date range this variable inside of calculate and that window has changed the context of the calculation and now we're only calcul calculating up total sales forecasts from today up till the end of the month or end of the current month okay so i really like this one just mainly due to its simplicity it just didn't it's, it's something that you might come across and you might think wow this is actually really difficult now that I've got my model and I've got my relationships but it actually it actually isn't it is actually quite seamless and intuitive to 
uh, calculate if you can understand especially what the calculate function does and then what you can do with time intelligence functions inside of calculate okay so i just want to this is going to be a short and sweet one i thought this is just a, a good one to go over a good solution um, that highlights a few key concepts which i think um, are, are really relevant um, so we covered you know things like context calculate uh, time intelligence functions all those things combined are just so crucial and when you combine them consistently well inside of power bi that's when these really good insights start to flow really nicely out of your reports and from um, from the data scenarios that you're working with okay so i'll look to if i can place uh, if i can um, sort it out i'll place a link to the uh, particular forum post in the um in the description below if you if you like this content uh, definitely throw it a like really appreciate it as always and don't forget to subscribe to enterprise dna tv one, one other thing is is don't, don't also um, jump on the enterprise dna support forum and what you can what you can do is you can you can actually search for these particular solutions very quickly by using the search bar in the particular forum and so there's a lot of great solutions on power bi available um, to review so so definitely do that if you have some time okay all the best